Oh my God, you guys, that store was so crowded, which was a little crazy, but I cannot believe what a killer way to end the day. $250 or more in profit in <laughs> DVDs are so easy. It doesn't get any better that, than that. It cost me $8.63. <laughs> What's going on everybody? I just dropped off some packages at the post office on this very gray Friday morning. I am at the first pawn shop of the day and hopefully I can find some good stuff to show you guys. Um, but don't worry because if I don't find any good stuff you guys won't even be watching this, but let's go. This should be a pretty good deal because the battery should be worth almost that. You get the charger and the drill, so it should be all profit. I'm gonna ask about this one. Alright, what do you want for this big orange box? This rigid box right here. Right here. Oh, is there even a price on it? Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, I'm with you now. You make me an offer on it because you're going away. No, I didn't. I just completely missed the price. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He made him purely. He made ahead of her, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wouldn't even be fair with that price. Yeah, she said it. Just <laughs> Let me just think about it for now. All right, so I found this. Fane is a pretty expensive brand. I think they're made in Germany. Yep, made in Germany right there. This is a little cutting tool. They're only asking $50 and it says they got the case in the back. And comps show one sold for $200. Another one sold for a best offer at $169. $350 for two of them. So I think that's going to be a pickup. I'm going to ask about that too. All right, so she's giving us this one for $40, which is a good deal. We're going to take that one. Is a $20 bill too much to ask on that one? No, I've had it for a while. Can we do 25? Okay. That'll work for you? Yeah. Nope. I would want to be like 150 bucks on that set if you want to throw it at her. 160? Help your friend out. 160 is good. Are we putting all this on layaway or will help you out with layaway? I hope not, but if I have to do one or two, I'll do it. You want to put this on layaway and you can work out the rest? Okay. That sounds good? Yeah, that's good. All right guys, really great first stop at this pawn shop. Let me show you some of the things I ended up picking up. Got that grinder for 40. I'm thinking that'll sell north of $100. So that was a great pickup. Paid $25 for the little Craftsman drill with the battery and the charger. The battery should recoup most of our money. So the drill and the charger will be just about all profit. I picked up three gun magazines for $5 a piece. Gun mags are super easy to sell on eBay. They have to be under 10 rounds. Most of them are marked. So you can see like that one's 10 rounds. But as long as they're under 10 rounds, paying $5 and selling them for $30 is such easy money. And some of them sell for big bucks, so keep an eye out for gun mags. That's easy stuff. Picked up this little laser for $10. They sell brand new for $70, so I'm thinking it'll sell for around $30 or $40 pre-owned. Not too bad. I'll show you all that that works when I get home. What do y'all think? Cool! I want to keep it. Line in. I want to keep it, Dad. This is a little meter of some sort, a uh, static pressure meter and probe kit paid five. It should sell around 30. And then I did pick up these Cornwell bits for an air hammer for $10. I'm gonna ask 25 or 30 bucks for those. And then I did end up putting the rigid pipe threader kit on layaway. They asked me to put it on layaway because they need that to hit their monthly goals. And so I'm happy to do that. They gave me a great deal on it. They were originally asking $500, I offered 150. We settled on 160 like y'all saw. That's a great deal. Should be able to sell it for four or five hundred dollars whenever I pick it up. So I just got to come back another day. That's how they. That's kind of their goal is to get you to come back and shop again. So layaway works well for both of us. Helped me get a good deal. And there's a thrift store right down the road. So that's where I'm heading next. Let's get there. All right. Next up is this little local thrift store. Their mission is to help animals, so not a bad cause. And I usually do pretty well here. So let's see if we can find anything.
nothing sold on this one, but we're definitely going to get it for a buck. $50 asking prices on that one. All right, so I just pulled this DVD out of that hole right there. It's brand new and sealed. I scanned it. I always scan MGM DVDs because some of them will surprise you. And I don't think this is realistic, but check out these asking prices. Those are all for pre-owned ones, <clears throat> but there's one right there for 15 bucks. So I don't know. Pretty crazy. Either way, we're gonna get it for a dollar. Battery chargers and power tool batteries are bread and butter for me. This is probably gonna be a good deal at five dollars. Let me look it up real quick. Yeah, it's just what I thought. There's 10 active and there's 53 sold and they sell consistently for around $30. So that's about 15 bucks profit after shipping and fees. So that's a pickup. I gotta look up some of these other ones. There might be some other good stuff in here. Just found this GoPro suction cup mount for a whopping $3. Looks like they sell for around a $20 bill and that's gonna be super easy to list and ship too. So into the basket it goes. Side door open. All right, I just picked up the four things. The Ryobi battery charger ended up being half off, so it only costs $2.50, so that's even better. This one's $7.50, and I gotta do some more research on those DVDs, because that was so crazy. Um, but, good profit at $7, you can't beat that. On to the next one, we're going to the island. All right, I am at the James Island Goodwill now. I'm about a couple miles from the beach, but you can literally smell the salt in the air here. So I'm gonna hit the Goodwill, <clears throat> and then there's a um, pawn shop just down the street from here. So this store's kind of hit or miss, but sometimes you get good stuff. So let's see what we can find. Okay, nothing really to talk about at that store. I just picked up one DVD. It's brand new and sealed for a dollar, and it sells for around 15 bucks. So let's hit the pawn shop and see if there's anything better there. guys I'm really struggling to find anything good I did buy a gun case that's from a Mossberg shotgun um, original OEM gun cases do really well on eBay just like the gun mags in fact all really all gun parts do pretty good on eBay as long as they're allowed but pick this up for a five dollar bill it should sell around 40 bucks got a couple of more stores to hit um, and let's hope we can find something a little bit better at them because it's been a little dry today all right guys we're in the middle of historical downtown charleston all that really means is that there's construction everywhere nowhere to park and the roads are really skinny uh, but there's a habitat for humanity across the street so i'm going to try and make it over there and see if we can find anything good let's go Guys, goosebumps are great to pick up. This one's a little bit rough. It's got a torn edge. It's actually a good number, a number 50. The higher number books can be worth some money. This book, if it was in good shape, might sell for even a $20 bill. Um, it's a little rough. I'm going to leave it. But definitely keep an eye out for the higher numbers. Once you get into the 50s and the 60s, they can be pricey. Okay, I stumbled across a set of PS3 games. It doesn't look like any of them are that great, so I'm going to leave these here. I did, found this, I did find this little set of DVDs from the History Channel. I always look up History Channel stuff. Should cost a dollar. It sells around 15 bucks. And I almost missed this because it's kind of hard to see. But I found this Sony DVD VCR combo. It actually looks really clean. I don't see a price on it anywhere. But it should sell for around a $50, $60 bill. So I'm going to ask and see how much it costs. And if it's reasonable, I'll probably take that home too. I found a couple things. Yes, ma'am. Okay, come over. Can I buy something? Man, I'm talking to you later. I'm going to leave 
Here you go. Oh, thank you. There's money you can have. Nice. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. You have to take it with you. I will. No. Alright guys, I got the Sony DVD combo and the DVD. They only charged me three dollars, no tax or nothing. So that was a great find. Should make forty or fifty dollars from that stop. And now if I can just get across the street without dying, we might be alright. Let's go. Woo! Go, 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 go! It's treacherous around here, so let's get out of Charleston and get back to my side of town and see if we can find anything at the last store. Okay, just made it to the next pawn shop. I got this store and one thrift store left to go. Just want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate everybody who's here. If you're a human, drop me a comment. Let me know that you're watching this. Really appreciate it. All right, guys, I just left the pawn shop down the road. I left empty handed. I am now at Community Thrift Store, a couple of roads down. This is a really huge store. They claim to put out over 2,500 items a day. So there's a ton of inventory in here. So I'm really hopeful that we'll find something good. You guys, I haven't looked all these up, but if they're all worth what that other one's worth, this will be a good find. That's just about every season, I think. That one's bringing around 30. Wow, season four is bringing over $50. Another $18, $20 one. Found season six too. It's so crazy. We've got all of the first eight seasons. It's time for me to get in line, but look at this. Yikes. A long ways to go. Oh my god, you guys, that store was so crowded, which was a little crazy, but I cannot believe what a killer way to end the day. $250 or more in profit in Project Runway. DVDs are so easy. It doesn't get any better that, than that. It cost me $8.63. May even list them all together, but I don't think we'll have any problem clearing $250, maybe even $300 in profit on that set. So what a great way to end the day. Glad we found it. If you guys aren't checking the DVD section, y'all are missing out on some serious, serious profit. Other than that, that's going to do it for the video today. I really appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps the momentum in the channel grow. If y'all want more content like this, drop me a comment. Let me know you were here. And yeah, thank you for coming. Really appreciate it.